I'm Daniel. And I'm Faze. And this is the first video in our taste test series. Today, we're going to be trying out an MRE. This is a Menu 7 Beef Brisket. This was uh, anonymously donated to us to try out. So we're going to try it out. We're going to review it. And uh, it's also a pseudo unboxing because we're going to open the whole thing up. It hasn't, it's completely sealed, hasn't even been opened. We also got a little something special. Uh, we're going to break it down Barney style and we're going to use some uh, elementary school style uh, trays here to eat it off of. Because uh, nothing makes you feel more like uh, you're in the service than uh, eating off a child children's tray. <laughs> I've also got my iron silverware here. Pure cast iron. He's gonna be using the stuff from the package, but uh, also I feel like I should mention this is a new item which neither one of us has tried because this came out, I believe 2013, 2015, somewhere in there. Uh, depending on the year, we can find out what's inside of it by looking it up. But honestly, neither one of us have tried this because it came out after we both got out of the service. So it should be interesting. Let's find out what the new taste is. All right, so here we are at the unboxing slash opening of the MRE. Let's give you a close-up of the package here. Now then, the thing that we notice that we need to point out here is, uh, it says, uh, Warfighter recommended, Warfighter tested, Warfighter approved. And we both know that's bullshit. Nobody yeah. tests this shit. <laughs> it tastes terrible nine times out of ten. The only way you eat these things is by dousing it in the hot sauce that comes with it. So you kind of get a feel for the way everything's laid out in the package. And it's as... Not as compact as it can be. Because you can always have a field strip ration or a first strike ration that is half the size but basically what that is is just taking all all the MRE out of its packaging internally it's got a couple of boxes and bags uh, keeping everything separate and this just eliminates that and breaks it down to the one bag but here we go I really like it if you know we had all day MREs like some of the other countries. It's just one meal, guys. Just one meal. One meal. <clears throat> Start out with our accessory pack. Ooh, we got cinnamon gum. We got some, uh, some Splenda. Let's bust it open. Yeah. Sorry, I gotta open that off screen. I'm gonna have to pull it apart pretty forcefully. So we got a uh, toilet paper. You gotta have your shit paper. Shit tickets. Some non-dairy creamer. Focus. <laughs> a moist towelette. Mmm. Moist. Oh shit. Salt. Butter buds. Hell Natural yeah. butter. Hell yeah. Coffee. Instant coffee. That's my favorite right there, man. The Splenda. And the cinnamon gum. The cinnamon gum comes in the, the red packaging. If you have the, the white, yeah, the the clear, clear packaging, one, it's... it's regular mint. Yeah. Toffee crunch cookie. This 
sweet. It's got all the nutrition facts on the front of it too. So, yep, you're looking at 260 calories in a disc. Check <laughs> that out. That's more than you'll ever get on a Blu-ray if it tastes mildly consumable. Shovel it down. All right, next up we got the heater pack. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but uh, don't eat it. Don't eat it. Bad yeah. things happen when you do. Got our uh, <clears throat> beverage bag. Woohoo! That's a hot beverage bag. What did we get? Ooh, chocolate, chocolate peanut, peanut butter Ooh. spread. That's like the fabled one. Most people, some people have never even seen that one. I have never seen chocolate peanut butter spread. Is it's, it like Nutella, only not Nutella? It's like Reese's, like a Reese's peanut butter cup that's been melted and just turned into spread. Ooh, that's awesome. It's kind of like there's some people who don't know that there's like a jalapeno cheese spread or a bacon cheese spread. I've never had the bacon cheese spread. I've had the jalapeno cheese spread and I've had the regular cheese spread. There's your spoon slash shiv. Spoon. What's next? Beverage <clears throat> base powder lemonade or lemon lime. That's basically Gatorade. Powdered Gatorade. Huzzah. What's next? Toffee rolls. What? Oh, we know what that is. And not really toffee, they're taffy. Chocolate taffy. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and do this one. You wanna just open that? Yeah. We're just show gonna people what it is. Tootsie roll. <laughs> Why they put a tootsie roll inside of another wrapper? Who knows? Tortillas. I've never had tortillas in an MRE. Really? Yeah. You, you never had like the? My favorite one was uh, the chicken fajita one. Oh, that one was so good. You know, I've had the, the chicken fajita one, but it didn't come with tortillas. It didn't? That's crazy. I think I got gypped. Yeah, it had a, It had a... You have crackers? It had a biscuit in it. A biscuit? A biscuit. Somebody rat fucked your MRE. And there's our uh, entree there. Our brisket entree. Gravy with seasoned beef brisket slices. Sounds delicious. 210 calories. Did we, the... The cookie has more calories than the entree does. <laughs> what do these tortillas have? 220. 220 for both of them. Oh, it's 210 on the on the entree and 220 on the. By the tortillas. way, these things are not meant for like every day, every meal consumption. They are meant for like one meal if you're very hard, if you're working very very hard. Oh man, garlic mashed potato. Garlic mashed potatoes? I've had that. the regular mashed potatoes, but I've never had garlic mashed potatoes. Me so neither. This is, this is new to me. Is that it? And that's it. It's empty. You see how there's like a lot of extra packaging here? Like, who needs that much packaging? That's why they have the, the first strike or field strip rations. Now, I never had a first strike ration, but we used to field strip in all these. Unpackage this shit, and some of this is probably gonna get edited out. There's no point in watching it. Bunch of idiots open up boxes. Hey! That's like the only packaging that I've ever opened that opens like almost straight across. <laughs> I will read the directions. All right, we'll go. Oh, we'll review the directions for an MRE. Once again, breaking it down Barney style. So you got step one: remove the MRE pouch from carton and save the carton. Then you uh, step two: take tear off the top of the bag, place the MRE pouch and bag with heater. Then while you're holding the MRE pouch and the heater above lines on bag. Pour water into bag until it reaches a level between lines. There's a little lines in here. Uh, slide a heater and MRA into the bottom of the bag and fold your the top of your bag into the side opposite heater. And you, you, know, you got your pictures right here. Kind of show you what you do. Fill the little line with water right here. Do not overfill. It doesn't need a lot of water to actually get going. Uh, stuff assembly into carton with top of bag folded over top of MRE and heater underneath. 
Then with the heater underneath MRE, hold carton level until heater feels warm or until one minute elapses. To prevent the water from escaping and to maximize heat output, always keep heater bag located underneath MRE, bag folded over top of MRE, carton inclined over inclined with folded end at top of bag up, and after 10 or 15 minutes, depending on air temperature, top half of bag can be torn off and the MRE can be removed and eaten. So everyone's favorite thing about this is this little illustration right here is carton, folded end, MRE, heater, then you know it's inclined on a rock or something. So for our something today, we have a skull. Yeah. I think it needs a name. I don't know. Do we want to ask the internet to name him? Sure, we can ask the internet to name him. He's this is a bad him. plan. <laughs> This is a bad plan. All right, so if you want to name our skull. He doesn't have a bottom jaw. <clears throat> yep, no bottom jaw. Um, if you want to name the skull, comment below what we should name the skull. This is, this is a bad idea. And then whoever, whoever has the best name or gets the most, I don't know, can you thumbs up on YouTube comments? Yeah, you can like it. <clears throat> so I guess whoever gets thumbed up the most... We'll get, uh... Or whichever one we like the best. <laughs> Alright, so this is our civilian-style canteen here. We'll throw some water in this thing. There's kind of some steam coming out already. Yeah. Put that on our rock or something. That works. Add to a half canteen cup of uh, water to contents and stir. Allow water just chemically purified to stand 30 minutes before adding beverage powder. Luckily we're not having to purify our own water here so we're just gonna put this in our uh, little civilian canteen there. You know one of my favorite things about these whenever we were out in the field was uh, occasionally you'd get it where the uh, stuff would kind of stick together and then you get to the end of it and then it'd be like it would almost be like Gatorade flavored gummies. So there is our lemon lime beverage base, whatever it was. Yeah. And that uh, that's actually green. It looks green in person. There's your MRE gummies there. Uh, but it, it is actually that green color. That's not the camera fucking with the, the color. It actually turns out that green. Kind of looks like swamp water. Kind of strange, you know, because used to be, this is the coffee, right? It used to be the coffee was actually like Nescafe. Yeah, I remember the Nescafe. We used to like off the top and just shoot them. Yeah. Put that shit underneath your tongue for a minute. Fucking wired for hours. Used to call that, what was it, <clears throat> danger dip? Yeah. That's what I'm thinking it is, and I think I've had one. Looks like it's almost... Hey, it's split in half already. Looks like it's a little worse than half. Yeah. Is it like a shortbread cookie? Yeah, it's like a shortbread cookie with like kind of crunchy bits in the middle of it. Oh. <laughs> Don't eat that. <laughs> Don't eat it. Like I never got an MRE with like the Skittles with MRMs in it. Really? Yeah. I got that all the time. I got one of them. Though, the sure. M&Ms were always like... Smashed balls, dude. It's so bad. I got one of them with the Reese's Pieces. <clears throat> I never got Reese's Pieces. And then, like... I don't know. I was super unlucky because I like half the ones that I had had fucking charms in them. Hmm. You know? You don't eat the charms. Yeah. I don't remember the charm. You never got charms? Mm. I'll put it on screen. We're going to take this out. First are garlic mashed taters. They're pretty warm. I'm going to try and do this without burning myself. <laughs> Good luck. So instead of... Ow. Alright. And there is our beef brisket entree, which is somehow cold on top. That's amazing. 
Mush it around. Yeah. Alright, so there's still some residual heat in here. I'm going to drop our coffee in there. By the time we're done kneading the rest of this stuff, then it should be ready. Did you drop it straight in the bag, or did you just put it in the carton with it? I don't know. I never really used it. I, I just think... drank cold coffee. If I was that hard up for it. I think I'll just put it in the bag next to it, in the carton. Because I've never... I never put it back in the bag, but I've seen other people do it. So I don't know yeah. if that was a good plan or a bad plan. Yeah. So, brisket is... Very much so liquidy. All right, so we'll put that back on our uh, rock or something. Mashed taters. Yep. Divvy that shit up. All right, so depending yeah. on the MRE, some of them tear long ways and some of them tear yeah. short ways. Most of those are usually the entrees that do that. What? Whenever they cut one or the other. So do you want to do like a jump cut from where we put that in there and then whenever we take it out and then we can just be like, so here's our tray and then just sort of walk through what everything's on or what everything's in? I don't know. Do you want to do that? I was just going to edit it down to where, like we're talking shenanigans, but we're opening shit. Yeah, we can do that too. I mean, <clears throat> a way. Yeah, I mean, we can just walk through it anyways. All right, let's, well, let's walk through it. Yeah, after we divvy the food up, the full plate. All right, so here we go with garlic mashed potatoes. And you got the butter buds to do with it. Heck yeah, I've never had butter buds. Doesn't that look yummy? Looks like mashed potatoes to me. That's what it actually to, smells really good. That's what happened to Potato Man after you are done with him. Fuck Potato Man. Doesn't it just remind you of school mashed potatoes? Brisket gravy shenanigans. Yeah, that one we're gonna have to show the inside of. Oh. I think they had something similar to that though. They had like a pulled pork something or another. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of this. Kind of looks like diarrhea in a bag. Yeah, it looks pretty terrible, but it smells good. Oh yeah, that smells real. It smells like a smoky, sweet barbecue sauce. Tastes pretty good too. So that's how it broke down on, on both trays there. As you can see, we both have a brisket, cookie, garlic mashed potatoes, Tootsie Roll, and uh, our Powerade Gatorade mixture there. I got the, uh, the salt because we're probably going to need it to make this meal worth eating. And we also got two tortillas coming out of the heater packet. Nope, never mind, it's falling apart. Remember, kids, tortillas don't look like that. You should know, I'm from Texas. Taste test time. Taste test time. And we got coffee as soon as we're done, so coffee for dessert. And we got the Peanut butter Chocolate spread there. Peanut spread. That's gonna I think I'm gonna put that on my cookie. Yeah, I'll split that with you. You gonna record your face while you're taking a bite? <clears throat> I guess. <laughs> it looks like real brisket though. It doesn't look like uh fake meat, you know? It doesn't look like soy. Right. 
right, I'm going to try everything separately and then we will that brisket's a little salty though really? yeah shirt in another video? I think so. I was wearing this in Tater Man video, wasn't I? Either that or a drunk gaming video. No, I think the drunk gaming video was a DuckTales. Hmm. Alright. Doesn't that look yummy? <laughs> Alright, so this is the, uh, the brisket. With gravy. With gravy. <laughs> Because, of course, we all know gravy goes with brisket. Yep. That's good. Smoky. It's like baked smoke, though. Um, I can definitely see what you mean about the saltiness. Pretty salty. All right. Mix up these butter buds on my taters here a little bit. <laughs> Probably a good idea. Potato stays pretty on point though. Alright, so here is garlic potatoes with butter buds. Oh, that is good. That's that's really good. <clears throat> then compared to mine, but you know. Mine's got all kinds of I, I mean that's shit. <laughs> Yeah. This shit's like uh, pre-packaged, so that way it's easy to ship. Like I said, I've never had the garlic potatoes in an MRE, so the, the garlic potatoes is really better than I expected. Yeah. All right, let's hit up this uh, Gatorade. It's a little bit weak, I think. The Gatorade? Yeah. It is a little bit weak. Not bad though. You know how we solved that? <laughs> it's already open. Here, I'll put some on the <clears throat> cookie. Here. That shit's so good you can eat it with a spoon. That is the chocolate peanut spread on the toffee crunch cookie. Mmm. -hmm. That cookie's pretty good. I'm not a big fan of dried cookies, but chocolate peanut spread by itself. Like a melted Reese's. Exactly like a melted Reese's. So the next thing we're going to try out. Tootsie Roll. <laughs> what did their packaging call it? Toffee Rolls. Where's your old Tootsie Roll? By the way, guys, if you guys are wondering, that's what my uh, cast iron silverware looks like. Really nice set. It has a leather carrying case and everything. Always prepared to eat out in the wilderness. <laughs> Alright, so everything's pretty well mixed. Put it on your tortilla. Tastes good. Oh man. That's pretty good. You're gonna bite into that shit and it's gonna go all over you. Don't judge me. Mm. Much smashing out the back. The tortilla's a little sweet. Yeah, it is, isn't it? 
Maybe that's um, something to do with how they get it to stay fresh. <laughs> Pretty good, though. You know what this meal is missing? What? Tabasco. Yeah, you're damn right. That really give it a little flavor. <laughs> well, it's got a lot of flavor, but... It would wake it up a little bit. Yeah. So just to FYI, we're shooting this video at like 1 in the morning. <laughs> and the last meal that I ate was a giant chopped beef sandwich. Here I am eating brisket and potatoes at 1 in the morning. It's actually not too bad for an MRE. Now, and of course, anybody who's ever had an MRE knows that the one you fear the most is the vegetarian omelet. And that one right there, the only way to get through that is to power through it by mixing it with your hash browns and a lot of hot sauce. It tastes like watered down Gatorade or Powerade. Remember doing, and I don't know why I thought of this or why I came up with it, but we put the, uh, you remember, the, you know, the sweet tea that comes with it? Yeah. We put the sweet mm. tea in there. And it was like just enough contrast to make it like not terrible. Hmm. I remember what we used to do also was uh, whenever we'd be out in the field when there was cold, and they'd come around and they would, uh, eventually they would come out there with like trucks with coffee, and they'd also have like little hot cocoa packets, so I'd like take the coffee and then pour the hot cocoa into it. So that was, was like mocha. mocha. It was really good. And I'll let you have the rest of that. It's definitely not good coffee by anybody's standard, but it's tolerable. I guess <clears throat> one story for this video is, is, uh, oh gosh, again, same uncle, said that they would uh, use the peanut butter to glue shit together and then like tents and they would have to go back and take the tents down and they couldn't get the pieces of the tents that were glued together with the peanut butter apart. Oh, shit. I also heard about uh, patching a radiator with peanut butter. I don't know how accurate that is. But <clears throat> I have heard or, or seen the peanut butter glue shit together and not come apart. I'll have some stories for some later ones as well. Most people could probably look it up if I said what it was, but you know, I'm not going to say it then. <laughs> You'll just have to tune in to one of these videos and figure out which one it is where I'm going to tell that particular fact. Yeah, it's pretty good. Definitely a uh, hell of a lot better than half the MREs I had whenever we were in. The one that everybody fought over was Chili Mac. I didn't like the Chili Mac. Really? Everyone in my unit was like, damn, Chili Mac? Give me that shit. Yeah, I know, I would, oft, I would often trade for something else for Chili Mac because everybody wanted Chili Mac and I could just basically pick what flavor I wanted at that point because I didn't like Chili Mac. Yeah. <clears throat> it, it's a generally liked thing because it's so simple. It's got a little bit of spice to it. You got your macaroni. The one that I always liked, believe it or not, no one ever wanted it. And I could never figure out why. And that was the veggie burger. Like the veggie burger with barbecue sauce. And I was like, nobody ever wanted it. And I was like, why? And it came with like the jalapeno cheese spread. It came with like two pieces of bread. It was all kinds of good stuff. And no one ever wanted it. And I was like, why not? So, I'd usually get that one. Maybe they thought it was going to be like the vegetarian omelet. It's just vegetarian. It's terrible. I don't think I ever had the, the veggie burger. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. Watching us eat some MRE. <laughs> Uh, you can see our trays right here. Really clean them things off. I still got some cookie left. Hey. Little dry.
it is pretty dry but the toffee bits kind of crunch crunch and waking up the saliva glands and make things happen it's, it's magic yep the toffee cookie is magic <clears throat> in our uh, civilian canteen here We'll have a real one in probably one of the next videos that we do this with. Other than MRE taste tests, our taste test videos are also going to include other stuff as well. Yeah. Probably get a hold of like a few boxes off of Amazon. They're like all mixture of things. They're... Yeah, we can get a lot of different stuff from, from anywhere. If y'all have any suggestions, feel free to uh, comment in the comment section below and let us know what you think we should try next. Don't get crazy ridiculous or get crazy ridiculous I don't give a shit <laughs> if you're gonna get too crazy and ridiculous though make sure that you uh, send it to our PO box <laughs> cuz if it's gonna be like three hundred four hundred dollars yeah we don't have that kind of money but if you want to donate it again send it to the PO box and we'll take care of it well you might see it in a video alright guys thanks for watching don't forget to check out our patreon Donate if you can. Our other social media network sites are going to be listed in the description below. Check you guys in the next video. Pop Smoke, guys. We're out. We can feel